Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And on the menu for you, live coverage of this Saudi Pro League match. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there, he's not going to take any messing about here. It's a neat move. Now sliding in field. It's got to be! High echelon goalkeeping there. Playing it in, thumped clear. Sends it back. An authoritative challenge. Carrillo. Cuellar. Marega. And teammates to play it to. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Supporters making themselves heard. Determined block. Played over. And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So, underway again here. One nil to score. Andre Carrillo. Musa Marega has it. Behind in the game, but now they have a corner. Keen to take it short here. Gustavo Cuellar. And a timely intervention. Oh, they've lost it. Well, he likes to run at them. Takes the shot. Brilliant save.
And the short option preferred. Just can't get it past him. Constantly thwarted. Well, the short corner routine. Salman Al Faraj. Here's Carillo. Good looking ball. Putting his body on the line. One block after another. They take it short. Teammate in support. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And the referee has given them a corner. Now they fancy a short one. A very effective clearance. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Oh, a nice-looking pass. And the ball is loose. And I think the threat has been averted. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his book in there. Well, there it is. The hosts haven't had that much of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Salman Al-Faraj. And the whistle is sounded for half to... The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Igalo. And he takes it on. Can they keep it out? Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Can he take advantage? Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. He's lost it. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. So 2-0 now. A move of promise on the flank. 
How about the cross? But nothing to worry about. Applying vigorous pressure. Sloppy in possession. Salman Al Faraj. Salman Al Faraj. Well, they keep passing away. Takes the shot. There it is. A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. But attacking possibilities. And the snuffing out of the cross there. It is to be a throw-in. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Take it away. Well, it's almost over, but not quite. The fans still with a bit of nail-biting to do, Stuart. Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? Michael. al Shahrani. How can they find a late leveller? And space to cross it. Yasser al Shahrani. Now, what can they do from here? He'll take this on. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. And a substitution in the offing. Petros. Five minutes left. That is tackling of the highest order. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Nicely saved. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? So making the substitution now. Who's going to get on the end of it? And he did what he had to do defensively. And snuffing out the danger. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. 
but they dealt with the threat first. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Yes, Derek, they were well off their usual standards today and with the quality that they have in their squad, I think it's fair for the fans to demand more. Too many bystanders for me, just not good enough. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority in attack, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.